Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining with us this morning, especially to the first-time guests that we have. No, thank you very much. Um, happy weekend. Uh, today is Friday, uh, September 17th. No, it's actually 99 days more to go before Christmas. No, um, you know, every time na tumotong tong na sa September, I always do some, you know, Christmas count. Um, I look forward for the coming Christmas. Actually, I, it's it's always been my it's always been my habit every time na magsi September na because there's so much joy in Christmas. No, there's so much joy. There's so much hope. Now, kahit na nasa gitna po tayo ng pandemic, well, still we are in the middle of uh, not just health crisis but economic crisis. But still, there are so many reasons still no to celebrate Christmas. So. Kaya kayo din po dyan, no? I will always invite you to, you know, keep hoping, keep dreaming. No? There's still going to be a brighter 
world right after the the tunnel no so thank you for joining with us i hope na um things are doing well for you uh, this point in time so uh, bago po tayo mag-proceed na isko pong uh, mag-engage muna sa bawat isa para at least alam ko lang po kung sino po yung mga kausap ko po ngayon now um i would like to ask kung saan po ba ang location ninyo ngayon by the way you can you can use your chat box no you can interact with me right now so please not so that at least i will be able to know and by the way we are also live in facebook no we are also live in facebook now simultaneous po no we are also live in facebook kaya kayo po diyan sa facebook live please paki-type po sa comment section sa baba so that i will know where you are located right now yan yes we have here joan no joan from lapu-lapu city si marcelo from lapu-lapu city si v2032 from bagumbayan so we have a lot from lapu-lapu city Now, who else? Who else? We have Marvin Oro, Talisay City. That, that's great, no? Si Al nasa Talisay, si Maricel nasa Cebu. By the way, sa Talisay, ha, we're starting to form our group there. So, kita-kita tayo dyan, Marvin, no? So, later on, I'll announce where will be my event in, in the South. No? Then, my number is in Camutis Island. Then who is here? Si Jelvi here in Marigondon lang. Si Brian nasa Lapu-Lapu City. Si Miss Novelin kasama natin sa Facebook Live nasa Mandawi City. Then uh, si Lady Fatima no uh, from Liluan. Si Larabel from Liluan. Si si Allen no from Alaska Mambaling. Si si Sheila Iskasinas nasa Lapu-Lapu ngayon no. Si Lizel kasama natin from Tagbilaran City. Si Nanette Calvo nasa Danao, no? Si Jennifer Ruiz nasa Basak Lapu-Lapu City. Malapit nito si Jennifer's office, eh. no? Si Jenelyn, no? Damlag Bukidnon. Oh, I love Bukidnon. It's a very cool place in Mindanao, no? Bukidnon. I was able to go to Dahilayan, no? So, napakaganda. Napakagandang lugar, no? Worth coming back, kumbaga. No, worth coming back. Okay, so thank you very much for your responses. No, but to those na nagresponse po sa atin ngayon, I would like to know kung sino po ba dito yung first timer, yung eto palang po yung best. Eto palang yung first time mo na nagjoin sa atin dito sa sa orientation nato or sa business meeting nato. Is there anybody that is that that is first timer? Si Al, thank you Al, no, for being here. Lara, thank you Lara, no. Si Mylene, thank you also Mylene Brial, thank you Brial. Who else? Who else are first timer here? Thank you no, thank you no. I I really appreciate your time. Joan also. Thank you very much Joan. Si Jelvi, thank you. Thank you Jelvi. Si Jeneline, thank you also Jeneline. No, I we really appreciate it. Thank you very very much. Si Marvin, thank you. Thank you for being here. Kayo po diyan sa Facebook Live. Is there anybody that are first timer po? Si si Jojina, uh, Miglanilia from Miglanilia. Thank you, Jo. Who, who else? Who else is first timer? No, first time po na nakajoin sa meeting natin today. Okay. Now, thank you, thank you for your responses. I would like to know kung sino po ba dito yung may experience na po sa sa selling sa bintahan ho uh, either online or offline nagtry ng Avon, Natasha, uh, personal collection or nakapagtry ng network marketing business. Is there anybody? Is there anybody na Yan si Joanne is with network marketing, no? Si Lara, online seller. What? Ang galing ah, online seller for five years. Grabe, hanga ako nito. So may salute to the online sellers, no? Uh, Amado, no, is also, no? Uh, si Lady Fatima, online seller. All of the above, grabe ni Jenelyn, no? All of the above. Tapos si... Si Ruth is also first-timer. Thank you, Ruth, for joining with us. Si Arlene, na nasa Facebook Live, nasa Tabuk, Mandawe, no? Yan. Guys, yung mga experiences niyo po with regards to 
uh, selling. If ever you decided to join with us here in this opportunity, lahat po yan magagamit at magagamit niyo po. No? Um, magiging kaibahan ng siguro yung, pro yung product, pero yung way you handle client, customers, and everything, pare-pareho po yun. How you serve them, pare-pareho po yun. So, we can we can learn from each other kumbaga no when the time comes ayan si Braille car accessories tapos uh, si Jelvi din may experience no ayan si Ruth may uh, nag Avon okay so thank you thank you for those no but to those na wala pong experience don't you worry we have a lot of trainings for you you just have to spend time with it and i believe sooner than later lahat po tayo ay matututo at matututo po niyan Okay, now last question, po. Would you uh, can you please type the name of the person and nag invite po sa inyo sa meeting today? We can, can we ask for you uh you the names of the person and nag invite po sa inyo sa meeting today? Yan si Marcelo by uh, Mam Sheila si na si Al by Nancy, si Lara Bell by Adonis. Who else? Si Jennifer Ruiz, si Novelin. Si Joanne is invited by Sir Noel. No? Si Marvin by Ed, uh, Edame. No? Si Lady Fatima by Janice Paradero. Si Brian James is invited by Van Osaraga. Si Janeline is invited by Miss Bicasmas. Si Romeo is invited by Bernabe Taneo. No? Yan. Okay. Guys, uh, someone is playing with the, the screen. Please, kung may bata po dyan, is pakiano na lang po guys, no? pakihawak yung kamay para hindi po madumihan yung screen po natin. Thank you very much. Ayan, si Mylene Solitario is invited by uh, Miss Berdan. Ayan. Si Romeo is invited by Miss, uh, si, yeah, Bernabe Taneo. No? Si Bethel Sancho is invited by Ma'am Sheila. Si Maria Charlene is invited by Sir Richard no, na nasa Facebook Live. Si Amado Jr. is invited by uh, Miss Maricel. Yan, okay. Guys, the reason why I ask kung sino po ba yung person na nag-invite po sa inyo, pati si Team Kuyos, no? it's because yung mga tao na yan na nag-invite po sa inyo sa business today, sila po yung magiging coach po ninyo. Sila po yung magiging mentors, sila po yung magiging guide para po sa negosyo na to. Now, hindi naman ibig sabihin na sila ay expert na talaga at alam nila lahat. Sila lang ay, kung, papa, kung sabihin natin, nauna lang sila sa inyo ng konti. So, sabay pa rin kayong matututo, but away, uh, along, the, along the way, you will be learning from each other pa rin. Okay? Yan, si Ruth is invited by Miss Miriam. Si Jelvi is invited by Miss Rosemary. Okay? So, hindi ko na po kayo patatagalin at pag-usapan na po natin ang pinunta natin lahat dito sa umaga na to. Pag-uusapan po natin kung ano ba to CD818. Okay. CD818 po ay nasa negosyo po ng real estate. Now, kung kayo po ay observant sa lugar po ninyo, I believe you will be able to observe na ang dami pong development na nangyayari po sa lugar ninyo. In fact, if you are from Cebu, you will really notice na ang dami pong project na nagsusulputan. Okay? Left and right po yan. Subdivision, condominiums, uh, what else? Uh, you have uh, commercial complex, malls, hotels, high-rise buildings, road and bridges, and dami ho. The reason why I share that to you because eto lahat form part of the business in the real estate. Nagiging contributor po to sa business ng real estate. Now, ito guys, oh, 
all over the country, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, ang development po ay hindi lang po concentrated sa iisang lugar. Ang development po ay spread across the countryside. Magmula nang inulunsad ng government ang Build, Build, Build program. No? By the time na inulunsad niya po itong Build, Build, Build program, etong industry na to ay mas lalo pong lumago. In fact, we are very been honored to say that in the middle of the pandemic, ito po ay isa sa mga negosyo na hindi po quote-unquote nagiging much affected. No? Kaya po nagsusurvive ang industry na to. Now, ano ba tong real estate? Na in simple definition, ang real estate po ay anything na nakadikit po sa lupa. No? Either ito po ay nasa ibabaw, nasa ilalim, basta nakadikit po sa lupa, part po yan ng real estate. Now, bakit nga ba naging magandang negosyo ang real estate? Kasi marami namang negosyo na pagpapili, pagpipilian natin sa labas. Eh. Pero bakit maganda ang real estate? Bakit ito yung napili na pag ko ng panahon? At of course, resources. Now, ito po yung reason why real estate is a good investment. And this is also my reason why I work hard for, for this business. Number one, itong negosyo na to is one day magbibigay po sa inyo ng passive income. Okay? Passive in a sense na later on ipapakita ko po sa inyo sa marketing plan na meron po tayo on how are you going to build a passive income. Passive is isa pong form of income na pumapasok na po sa bulsa natin kahit hindi po tayo physically na nagtatrabaho na. And because of the marketing plan that we have, it will allow you one day to have a passive income. Pagdating ng panahon po na kayo po ay kumikita na po dito in which it's not impossible that one day you're gonna be earning, we will encourage you, no? We will encourage you to invest on properties. Bakit po? It is because we encourage you to invest your hard-earned money on a rental business one day. Either mag-invest kayo ng bahay at lupa or condominium at pasukin natin ang mundo ng rental. Kasi long-term po yung rental business. Eh, no? Kahit na po tayo ay medyo may edad na, matanda na, eh kaya pa rin po natin i-operate ang rental business na yan. So, That's that's what makes it good in terms of retirement income. Pangatlo ho, passive in a sense na dito po sa DPPI ay meron naman po tayong sarili nating development. Paunti-unti ho, meron po tayong sarili nating housing development. And with this, I, we encourage everyone, lahat po, lahat po ng mga members natin, we encourage to be part of this opportunity na magiging business partner ni DPPI sa development. And whatever money na, na ilagay mo po dyan, it will go back to you in a form of uh, dividends. So, passive na passive pa rin ang income na yan. So, time will come one day na lalaki at lalaki yung negosyo natin. Eh, kahit pa paano, you will have an extra source of income. Okay? Next is that in real estate, it protects your money against inflation. Alam mo, lahat naman siguro tayo nakapag-observe nito no na if ever ikaw ay pupunta ng palengke ngayon at mamamalengke ka yung 1000 pesos mo ngayon malamang ma-observe mo na kaunti na lang compared siguro five years ago alam mo itong pera isang pinakaimportanteng uh, bagay pero it, ito rin po isang bagay na madali pong nawawala ang value No, yung tawag po doon ay depreciation. Uh, no, so, in short, kung ang hard-earned money natin, ilalagay natin sa banko, tatamaan na tatamaan talaga yan ng inflation. Pero pag ito po yung nailagay natin sa isang tinatawag natin na real property investment, yung pera na inilagay mo po dyan, ay protected po siya kasi sasabay po siya sa pag-appraise ng property. That's the beauty of, of real estate. Okay? Next is that it's a good collateral. Alam mo, hindi naman imposible balang araw na 
baka mag, may bala ka na mag-umpisa ng uh, negosyo, eh, sa halip na sa tao ka mangutang at uh, malaki din ang tubo, why not go to the bank? No? If you have your property, bitbitin mo po yung titulo mo. At ang kagandahan pa nito, ang pagbabasihan ng banko pag ikaw ay nag-loan sa kanila ay kung magkano na po yung appraised property, appraised value ng property mo. Hindi po base sa pag-purchase mo noon, but it will be based on how much it is valued today. Galing, di ba? So kung ang presyo na binili mo dati ay 1 million at ngayon ay 2 million na, na ngayon, ang pagbabasihan ng loan ay yung 2 million. 80% dyan ang ibibigay ng banko sa iyo. Okay? Third is that it's tangible. No? So you can use your senses. You can feel, you can touch, you can see, you can hear. And if you do that, something that you will really be able to appreciate it. And lastly, the value does not become zero. Alam mo, I was, I was even thinking na uh, nung time na nag, naglindol sa Bohol, if you remember that, I was thinking na uh, ang presyo ng property sa Bohol ay bababa ang value ng mga lupa. Pero I was wrong. I was wrong because it never did went down, actually. I was so even excited. I even asked uh, Juliet during the time na if there's a possibility that we can buy property in Bohol because it's going to be cheaper kasi magbebentahan ng mga tao kasi lumindol. But it never happened. Same thing with, with Yolanda. After Yolanda. After Yolanda hit the Cloban City and everybody is moving out of the Cloban, I was also thinking na magiging mura ang property sa Tacloban. But again, I was wrong. So many calamities na dumaan. Pampanga, for example. Um, I was sent off by Deca Homes uh, years ago when, when development of Deca Homes Pampanga started. I was also expecting, because after Mount Pinatubo, I was really expecting that the property in Pampanga will really go down. But unfortunately, it did not. <laughs> it still went up. The prices still went up. So kahit anong crisis na meron, even in the middle of pandemic, we have na sinasabi na ng buong mundo na meron tayong crisis, alam mo, ang presyo ng property hindi po bumaba. Patuloy pa rin siyang tumataas at tumataas. So these are the reasons kung bakit po napili ko po ang real estate to be a good investment. Bakit po? Everything is all about long term. Everything is about long term. Lahat ng kakayurin mo dito, lahat ng tatrabahuin mo dito, it's not just for the short term, it's all for the long term. Um, dumating kasi ako sa point na nagsawa na ako sa kakatrabaho ng short term, short term. I, wanted, I want something for the long term. At ito po yung isa sa the pinaka the best na mga long term businesses that you and I can really uh, work on. Now, last June 29, 2009, Mas lalo pong pinaganda ang, ang, ang business na to. Magmula po ng ipinalabas ng government ang, or nag in po sila ng batas. Ito po yung Republic Act 9646. Uh, or commonly, ito po yung Real Estate Service Act of the Philippines. Mas lalo pong gumanda ang industry na to. Bakit to? Ang layunin po ng batas na to ay mabigyan ng proteksyon ang dalawang partido sa, sa transaksyon ng real estate. Una, ang unang gustong bigyan ng proteksyon ay yung mga bumibili. Marami kasi ang mga pagkakataon na ang mga bumibili po ay, you know, na-scam din. Na sa halip na legitimate yung property na naibenta, ay naloko pa sa mga peking titulo. On the other hand, layunin din naman ang batas na to na maprotektahan yung nagbebenta. Kasi marami na rin pagkakataon, marami na rin beses na kawawa naman yung nagbibenta na materialize yung sales, nagkabayaran na, pero hindi rin nakatanggap sila ng komisyon. Kawawa din naman. Hindi naman ganun kadali maghanap ng kliyente. Napakahirap, mainit pa, may tripping pa. So, masaya ako dito sa batas na to kasi nabigyan ng proteksyon ang, part, ang both parts. Na sinabi ng batas dito na sige para mabigyan natin ng protection ngayon ang pwede na ngayong mag-transact ng negosyo ay yung mga brokers. Ngayon ay po yung sinabi ng batas yung mga brokers. So ngayon, 
ikaw na nakikinig dyan, magtatanong ka na ngayon sa sarili mo, eh Joe, paano po yan ngayon? Hindi naman ako nakapag-aral, hindi naman ako gumraduate dyan. Eh paano yan? Wala naman akong degree para dyan sa tinatawag na broker-broker na yan. Uh, so, ito po guys. Sa the same na batas, meron pong provision. Ito po, section 32. At ito po yung corporate practice of the real estate service. At dito po, may dalawang requirements na kailangan imit ang isang institution para makapag-practice ng real estate. Una, dapat nakarehistro po siya sa SEC. Okay? SEC po, hindi DTI, SEC. At ang pangalawa po ay may broker sa loob ng corporation. Pag na-satisfy yung dalawa na yan, ikaw ay pwedeng mag-transact ng negosyo under the corporate practice. Ito po yung provision na nagbigay daan sa pagbukas ng napakadaming realty firm sa buong Pilipinas. Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao. We are way over 3,000 realty firms. Okay. So ganun po tayo karami. Hindi, hindi po tayo nag-iisa. Okay? Hindi po tayo solo sa negosyo na ito. This is a shared business by more than 3,000 realty firms. Now, that's the reason why ay nagparehistro tayo sa SEC. At ito po yung buong name natin sa SEC. D8.18 Premier Properties Incorporated. Or ang shortcut po nito ay DPPI. Okay? So medyo mahaba-haba kasi. So yun po yung mga nakikita nyo po sa mga mga Facebook uh, na account or na name nila na may nakalagay nga DPPI. Ito po yun, D818 Premier Properties Incorporated. Ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng D818? Now, ang D818 po ay kinuha ko po sa isang Bible verse. At ito po yun sa Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. At sinabi po dito na, you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is God who gives you the ability to get wealth. That He may confirm His covenant that He swore to your fathers as it is this day. So maliwanag po, kapatid. No? Maliwanag po siya na tayo po ay binigyan pala ng Diyos ng abilidad na para kumita. Kaya doon sa mga sumagot kanina na wala pa pong experience sa bentahan, don't you worry. Because nandyan na po sa iyo ang abilidad na yan. With our trainings and seminars, lalabas at lalabas po ang mga abilidad na yan. Okay? Now, our vision is we want to see a multitude of godly, responsible, and self-driven real estate entrepreneurs. Yan, maliwanag ha? Real estate entrepreneurs ang gusto natin. That will continually be doing the business through selling, and recruiting new business partners daily. So in short, um, very clear no, ang gusto nating mangyari at ang mga gawain natin dito. Una is magbenta tayo, of course. Lahat naman ng negosyo ay eh, meron talagang bentahan yan. Then secondly, ay mag-build po kayo ng negosyo po ninyo through inviting people into the business. Yan ang recruitment naman. Now, later on, I'll explain it further. The beauty of building your business. Okay? Now, our mission is we seek to enhance our business by faithful practice of self-discipline, integrity, and care. We teach to equip and develop every member to become business leaders. So the ultimate goal, the ultimate objective, ultimate agenda ay balang araw, bawat isa po sa inyo ay magiging business leaders. Hindi, hindi po disenyo dito sa DPPI na manatili po tayo nasa ordinaryo. Ang gusto po natin na lahat po tayo dito, balang araw, aasinso at nagiging isang business leader. Okay? Now, bago po ako magpapatuloy, nais ko pong ipakilala sa inyo ang board of directors ng kumpanya na to. Okay? Una, ako po si Jofrin Villasencio at ako po ang tumatayong President and CEO ng corporation na to. Kasama ko po dito si Ms. Juliet Plania bilang Vice President and Chief Finance Officer at si Melvin Roy Plania as the Corporate Secretary joined by Rowi T. Villasencio and Edwin Limpasa to complete the Board of Direct 
directors of the corporation. Now, kasama pa natin dito yung hiningi sa atin ng batas in the person of Mr. Hermine Hildo B. Ruelo. Si Mr. Ruelo po ay hindi lang po isang real estate broker, isa din po siyang certified public accountant. Commonly, ang tawag po namin sa kanya dito ay HBR or Sir Boy. So kung maririnig niyo po yung names na po na yun, it refers to the same person. Okay? Now, here are our corporate registration. You may want to take some screenshot because ito naman ay mga public documents naman po ito. Nandito po yung Securities and Exchange Commission natin, yung BIR, yung Local Business Permit, at of course, yung registra- Certificate of Registration natin na mula po sa DHSUD. Yan. Okay. Now, bakit nga ba tayo nandito sa negosyo na to? You know what? Because our goal is to help DPPI members to realize their dreams for their family. Ako, kaibigan, nais ko po kayong i-challenge talaga na huwag humintong mangarap. Alam mo, minsan sa atin, huminto na ng mangarap eh. Kasi feeling natin hindi na maaabot. Dito po sa DPPI, DPPI gusto, gusto namin na ikaw ay mangarap talaga. Pangarapin mo ng husto at lakihan mo kasi wala namang imposible sa mga taong nangarap kasi ito po yung fuel na magbibigay sa iyo ng extra na lakas at extra na energy no pero ano nga ba tong mga pangarap no alam mo gin nagpagawa po ako ng survey kasi ito po talaga yung heartbeat ng DPPI making dreams into reality nagpagawa po ako ng survey at ito po yung lumabas sa mga common dreams ang dami po sa ating members dito na gustong magkaroon ng bahay. Yung sariling bahay talaga. Probably you will not feel the, the intensity of it if you have your own already. But to those na wala po, grabe ang intensity po dito. No? And if you are a family person like me, I believe everyone is, we share the same idea and objective and desire to provide good education for our children. Sabi pa nga nila, wala ka mang ikta-iktaryang lupa na pwede mong ipamana sa mga anak mo. Yung maliit na papel na kung tawagin ay diploma, that's more than enough. No? Bakit? Kasi binigyan mo sila ng fighting chance for the future. And of course, huwag din po natin kalimutan yung kumakayod, comfortable retirement. Alam niyo po, retirement is never, is never a question of uh, darating ba or hindi. It's just only a question of when. And we want each and every DPPI members, we want that when the time comes that we will going to be retiring, we will retire comfortably. That's what we want. No, we want to retire comfortably. <coughs> and of course, magkakaroon po tayo ng enough na savings para po sa future natin. Alam nyo guys, ang hirap mag-save. Totoo po yan. Ang hirap makapag-saving. But because of DPPI's program, marami po sa ating members dito ay nagkakaroon na po ng savings. And I'm happy to say that to you that they are happy also of have, having a savings. <laughs> okay? So, let me share to you some few achievements no, sa mga members natin. Few lang, no? kasi ang dami nila. Eh. Now, we have here Jovi Hatico, a proud homeowner of Villa Almera in Balaban. We have Jovi Carrasco, a proud homeowner of Casita Subdivision. Si Mel Berdan, a NASA Luciana Homes. Si Miss Novelin Alcubert, an owner of Aura Residences. Si Lizel Dano, no? Hayahay Homes. Si Charmeline Yukte, na I think next month ay maglilipat na sa sarili niyang bahay. At saka si Jolene Villejo and many more. And who knows, you could be the next, no? Who knows, you could be the next homeowner of DPPI here, no? Walang imposible po, guys. Okay? Now, ang DPPI po is accredited to over 200 major developers across the country. And in fact, and the way I look at it, ito po ay parami ng parami po ang mga ano natin. Uh, should I say development, developers. Kasi dati po, ang mga players lang dito ay yung mga ano lang, uh, national uh, developers. Pero ngayon po, iba na. Ang mga players ngayon ay mga local businessmen na are now playing with the business. So friends, ito po yung ito po yung gusto kong makita nyo. Sabi ng isang seminar na natinan ko, ang dami po daw 
inventories na yon na project. So, ibig sabihin, ang, when we say ang dami, ibig sabihin, it's no longer, it's no longer just played by ilang developer. Marami na po yan sila. And you know what's the most striking of the statement is that sabi niya, iilan lang daw ang seller. Marami ang supply, koonte naman ang nagbebenta. So that's the reason why we are capitalizing on these deficiencies, this gap. No? Nag-capitalize po tayo sa gap na to. Kasi maraming supply, there are only few people that are selling. So we want to address the gap. That is the reason why we are intensifying our recruitment. And that's the reason why the moment na mag-join din po kayo dito, I will encourage you to intensify yourself with the recruitment. Bakit ho? Because we need more people to sell, to catch up with the project selling. Ang dami pong project, hindi pong maibenta-benta pa. It's because kulang-kulang-kulang talaga tayo na mga sellers. Okay ha? So napakagandang gap po yan. Okay? So ngayon, nandito na po tayo sa second half of my presentation at ito po yung mahiwagang katanungan. Kayo ba gusto nyo po bang mag-umpisa ng negosyo na walang pera na involved? Gusto po ba ninyo? Kayo po dyan sa Facebook Live, gusto nyo po bang mag-umpisa ng isang negosyo na wala pong perang involved? Minsan, hindi ka panipaniwala, no? Kasi pag sinabing negosyo, meron talagang pera involved yan, eh. Nakailang beses na kayong nag-join ng mga network marketing business, ng mga rekruta na style, eh, kailangan talaga meron pera na involved yan, eh. Pero dito, wala, Joe. <laughs> Di ba? Now, yes, wala. You're not going to shell out your money to be part of the business. But, you need the capital in order for you to succeed. O yan, pinaikot mo lang kami, Jofi. Meron talagang kapital. Uh, meron kapital, pero hindi pera. Okay? Meron kapital, pero hindi pera. Eh, Jof, kung hindi pera yan, eh ano yan? Pag sinabi natin, kapital, pera talaga yan eh. Ang pinakakapital po natin dito, my friends, Is yung tinatawag na commitment. Yun po yung pinaka-capital po natin. Now, if I am to explain what is commitment, I'm going to explain it to you in two words. When we talk about commitment, we're talking about time. Now, sa lahat ng bagay po, pag hindi po ninyo bibigyan ng oras, hindi po lalago at hindi po lalakiyan. No matter how good is your business is, if you don't give time, it will never grow. Pareho sa relationship. Yung relationship sa tingin nyo mag-grow yan if hindi po magbibigay ng time yung babae at saka lalaki? Hindi yan. So in order for the relationship to flourish, they have to give time to each other. School. Sa tingin mo, mag-a-accomplish ka, maging honor student ka, kung hindi ka magbibigay ng time na mag-aral, gumagawa ng project, hindi, hindi mangyayari yan. Sa trabaho, sa tingin mo, kung hindi ka magbibigay ng extra time mo, sa tingin mo, makikita ka ng boss mo for promotion, hindi. You have to give the time para eto po ay lumago. Ganon din po yan sa negosyo. Ang pangalawang word po na i-introduce ko po sa inyo dito is yung effort. Whether you like it or not, my friends, if you don't put in the effort, wala pong mangyayari talaga. Balik tayo sa example dun sa boyfriend at girlfriend. Gusto nilang, alam natin na ang relationship ay mag-grow pag nagbibigay sila ng time. Pero in order na i-display ang time na yan, kailangan silang magkaroon ng effort. So anong gagawin ni lalaki? Bibisita siya ni babae, magdi-date sila. Bakit? Kasi nag-i-exert sila ng effort para magkaroon ng time. Sa estudyante, yes, alam mo, kailangan mong magbigay ng time, mag-aral, maggumawa ng project, pero kailangan mong mag-effort. As in, gagawin mo talaga ang project. As in, magbabasa ka talaga ng mga lessons. Di ba? 
sa trabaho. Ganun din. Kailangan mong mag-effort para hindi ka malate sa trabaho. Kailangan mong mag-effort, mag ng mga training na kinakandak ng kompanya para ikaw ay balang araw ma-promote. Ganun din sa negosyo. Kailangan mong mag-exert ng effort para kahit pa paano, aangat ka at kahit pa paano, makikita mo sa output ng negosyo mo. I will not, again, I will make it clear to all of you guys, I will not demand time from you. I will not demand time from you because hindi naman po kayo empleyado. I will not ask it from you as in demand it from you. But what I will ask from you is learn to prioritize it. Now, ikaw naman yung nakakaalam dun sa gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo. Hindi naman ako. Ikaw yung nakakaalam sa current financial situation mo. Kasi kung wala kang gagawin ngayon na kakaiba yung situation ng buhay po natin, in the next coming months ay hindi po magbabago po yan. Ganun pa rin po yan. It will never change. And if you want things to change, you have to do something different today. And if you think, no, and if you think that tomorrow will gonna be a brighter day, I'm sorry, pero mali po. Tomorrow will become more and more harder each day. So if you're not going to make some drastic decision today, may iiwan at may iiwan ka. So if you are here today, ibig sabihin pinadala kayo dito ng pagkakataon at pinadala kayo dito ng Diyos. I'll show you and I present to you an opportunity that might probably change your life. Because I have seen it already in a lot of people's lives here in the PPI that had been changed. And who knows, you will be the next. But the ball game actually rests not on me, but the ball game rests on you. I am here to just simply present it to you, to teach you, to mentor you in the best way I could. But at the end of the day, it will still going to be you that will run this business. This is your business. I want you to remember that. This is your business. And if there's anybody that is truly responsible for your success here, it's never going to be me. It's going to be you. It's going to be you. Now, you can choose to be lazy and you can choose to do nothing. But it will never change the situation that you have in right now. Remember that. Lahat po tayo nangarap mga kapatid. Lahat po tayo wish and dream for a better life. But only a few of us who work towards that better life. Because it's never going to be easy. It's going to be very painful. It will hurt you along the way. But the rewards will be great one day. The more difficult that you're going to have here, that you will experience, the more beautiful the story becomes. In this opportunity, we give you the chance to write a story of your own. And if you're going to write your own story, make it beautiful. Ikaw naman ang author eh. <laughs> Di ba? Ikaw naman ang author. Sa so dapat ikaw ang bida. No? Gandahan mo. No? Gandahan mo at galingan mo. Okay? So here, this is what we will do. Okay? Listen here. This is what you would do. And this is what we will do. Now, number one. We'll talk about selling. Gone are the days that selling is done offline. Wala ka na po kayo ngayong makikita na nasa mall na nag exhibit ng real estate project. Wala na. Hindi na po uso yan ngayon. Hindi na rin po uso ngayon na mag-house to house ka. COVID ngayon, kapatid, hindi po pwede. <laughs> no? At malamang baka habulin ka ng aso. Number two, uh, number three pala, hindi na rin uso ngayon na mag-office to office ka. Again, COVID ngayon. Yung mga restaurant nga, no dine-in policy na. Kakato ka pa, mag-house to house ka pa. So hindi na po posible. So ngayon, kung hindi na po ganun ang selling jobs, eh ano na ngayon ang selling? Well, ang selling ngayon is nasa online na. Kaya nga kanina, yun si Lara, five years na nasa online selling. Ay nako, pumalap, pumapalakpak talaga ako. No? Alam mo bakit? You are a right person at the right time. Grabe no, parang, parang kanta no? no? You are the right person at the right time. 
because nasa mundo na po tayo ngayon ng online selling. Now friends, here it is. In the online selling, no? In the online selling, your reach is enormous. Napakalaki po yung reach mo. Napakalaki po yung negosyo mo. Pero ito yung pero guys ha. Matindi na rin ang labanan sa online selling. Matindi ang labanan sa online selling. Kaya kung hindi ka mag-upgrade, kaya kung hindi ka mag-explore na matuto ng mga bago, wala. Wala po tayong mararating po dyan. I'll be frank and honest with you. Kung, magma, kung ayaw mong matutog paano gawin ng tama ang online selling, I'm sorry, you will not make it here. Ganun lang po kasimple. Ito po, nasa online selling na po na, na tayo. Sipaga na po to. Okay? So, ano ba yung ginagamit natin? Ginagamit natin ay social media platform in which I believe kayo, meron kayo niyan. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, at ano-ano pa. Yung iba, hindi ko kilala ng mga social platform. But I believe, ikaw at ako are using Facebook already. Tama. All of us are already in Facebook. In fact, the reason why you are here today, it's because of Facebook. The reason why you were invited, it's because of Facebook. The reason why you are able to, to browse an opportunity is because of Facebook. The reason why nakita nyo po yung negosyo na to, it's because of Facebook. It's all because of Facebook. So sa mga katwid, ang pinaka-tools na gagamitin natin, take note here ha, is Facebook. Meron din naman tayong mga online selling website, gaya ng Property24, in which your upline will going to, of course, brief you with this. Property24, meron tayong carousel, meron tayong may property, may lamudi, may that property, and so on and so forth. You can also make use of that. Itong carousel, ito po yung dating OLX. Okay? You can make use of those online selling uh, website. Okay? But the one that I will recommend to you is Facebook ads. Now, if you want to excel in the online selling, by all means, kailangan mo talaga mag-FB ads. At kung gusto mong mag-FB ads, kailangan mo talagang aralin paano gawin ang FB ads marketing. Because of that, dito sa DPPI, we encourage you, we challenge you, especially dun sa mga bago pong nag-attend ngayon ng seminar, kung gusto, mo, kung gusto nyo pong mag-shoot ang benta nyo, mag-enroll kayo kay Mr. Kuripot. Screen name lang po niya yan. Kasi ayaw niyang magpakilala. Mag-enroll po kayo sa trainer natin na si Mr. Kuripot. At dito po, tuturuan po kayo ng tamang teknik paano po makakuha ng mga prospect. As in prospect talaga. Tuturuan kayo. Kasi yung mga ginagawa nyo na boost post, hindi po tama yun. Ang meron po dyan ay mga likes-likes lang. Kaya kung doon sa mga online seller na sa katagal-tagal na panahon, kung ginagawa nyo lang is natural posting lang, ngayon, mag-equip kayo ng sarili nyo at mag-enroll kayo kay Mr. Kuripot para may bala po tayo. Kay, kaibigan, ang pinupuntahan po natin ngayon ay isang gera. Isang gera. At sa gera na to hindi po kayo nag-iisa na nagbebenta. Yes, kulang ang mga nagbebenta pero ganun para maman marami pa rin ang nagbebenta. Kaya kung gusto mo na may advantage ka, kung gusto mo ang gawin ang negosyo nito right after the seminar, ang una mong gawin, especially ngayon, weekend, Saturday, Sunday, mag-enroll ka kay Mr. Kuripot para you'll spend your time learning how to do Facebook ads marketing. Para pagdating ng lunis, mag ka na ng mga seminars with regards to projects, alam mo na kung ano yung gagawin mo with the knowledge and the learning that you have. Okay? So, paano mag-enroll? You ask uh, your consultants with this one or your upline. Ask your upline paano mag-enroll kasi kailangan mo talagang mag-enroll dyan. Okay? Number two, you are going to build your best team. So, paano kayo mag-build ng team? You are going to build your team by recruiting people into the business. Sino ba yung recruiting ko dito, Jeff? 
dalawang tao lang ang pwede, ang, ang, ang ang kailangan mong recruitin dito. Okay, dalawa lang. No? Dalawang tao, dalawang klasing tao lang ang re-recruitin mo dito. Ano po yan, job? Number one, yung kakilala mo, recruitin mo. Yung isa, job, ay yung hindi mo kakilala, recruitin mo. So sino yung re-recruitin natin? Yung kakilala mo at yung hindi mo kakilala. Saan ba ako magre-recruit, job? O syempre, dyan sa Facebook. Di ba dyan ka na-invite? O dyan ka rin babalik? Diyan mo invite yung kakilala mo at diyan mo rin invite yung hindi mo kakilala. Introduce mo sila sa negosyo at pag nagustuhan nila, magiging part sila ng team mo. Okay? So, you, we are all going to do that through recruitment. Okay? We're going to do that through recruitment. We have a lot of schedules wherein they can attend para ma-orient po sila sa negosyo na meron tayo. Okay? Bakit? Because you will be compensated with that. No? Dito po sa section 3, sa batas na to, sa 9646, meron pong provision no? sa section 3. May provision po na nagsasabi with regards to commission. No? How was that? Ito po. Di ba meron pong mga real estate developers? Itong mga real estate developers Ito po yung mga gumagawa po ng condominiums at mga subdivisions. Okay? Sila po yan. Itong mga projects nila ay kailangan pong mabenta. Pag nabenta po yan, meron pong komisyon na sinasabi ang batas na 5%. Yan po ang magiging standard commission rate from the developer. At ang person na entitled nito ay una, yung tinatawag natin na independent broker yung yung graduate wala namang provision na hindi sila pwedeng magbenta yung graduate pumasa at ang second po na pwedeng mabigyan ng 5% ay ito po yung tinatawag natin na corporate broker in our case ito po yan okay ang D818 Premier Properties Incorporated ang corporate broker so pagpasok ng 5% na yan sa kompanya, kailangan po nating gumawa ng marketing plan para magiging maayos po ang distribution ng income ng 5% na po na yan. Okay? Kailangan eh. Kailangan po na magkaroon ng marketing plan or else magkakagulo po tayo. Okay. Now, ano ba yung role natin? Ang role natin, tayo po ay isang property liaison specialist. Bilang isang property liaison specialist, ito po, naka-define, no, if nakikita niyo po sa screen, is the one who facilitates close communication between two parties or people, either errands, business transaction, or services. So sa mga katwid, meron pong nangyayaring transaksyon sa pagitan ng dalawang partido. The question is, sino ba tong dalawang partido na to? Okay. Ito po, titingnan natin. Ang D818, ito po yung corporate broker. Tama? Nandito po yung mga licenses na meron. Dapat. Yung PRC license, yung DHSUD registration number. Now, etong D818 po bilang isang corporate broker, eh, wala naman kasi itong kamay, paa, mata, bibig para makipag-transaksyon sa ano, sa sa tao. So wala siya niyan. Wala siya. So dahil wala po siya diyan para makapag-transaction siya. Eh paano niya kakausapin yung second part of the transaction? At ito po yung kliyente. Kasi wala siyang mata eh. wala siyang mata, walang bibig, walang paa, walang kamay. Because of that situation, kailangan niya ng liaison. Ayan. At ito po yung kakausap sa kliyente na to. At because of the services na in-offer niya, because of the services na naibigay niya, itong tao na to ay magkakaroon ng parte. No? Magkakaroon po ng parte sa komisyon na naibigay ng developer. Yung 5%, di ba yung pinakita ko? Magkakaroon po ng parte. Dahil marami namang tao involved dito 
nilagyan po natin ng marketing plan para mas clear po ang magiging computation at sharing ng komisyon. Okay? Now, let's begin. Okay, ito pa. When you decided to join with us here in the business, everybody begins as a property liaison specialist. As a PLS, you are entitled to a rate of 2.5%. Para po magkaroon ng substance ang pag-uusapan natin today na marketing plan, we will base all our computation sa sale na 1 million pesos. Although, in reality, ang presyo po ng bahay at condominiums are already more than 1 million. So, para lang po uh, may, may quote-unquote, may figure tayong makikita, we'll base it at 1 million. So, ibig sabihin, if you can sell 1 million worth of properties, you are actually going to receive an average of 25,000 pesos income gross. Now, sa bentahan naman, mga kapatid, wala namang magic dyan eh. All, it's all about hard work. So, kung masipag ka, of course, malaking role na ipiplay ang tools dito. If you are going to make use of FB ads marketing, believe me, my friend, if you are going to use FB ads marketing, your sale will really go skyrocket. You will re it will really go skyrocket. No? You just have to learn how to do it well. Okay? So kung makabenta ka ng 2 million, that's 50,000. 3 million, that's 75,000. 4 million, that's 100,000, and so on and so forth. But again, we don't want you to stay there. Ayaw namin na hanggang dyan ka lang. We want you to build your team. Bakit? Bakit, Jeff? Bakit kailangan mag-build namin na team? Eh, gusto kong ako lang mag-isa, Jeff, eh. Well, wala namang masama po doon na ikaw lang mag-isa. But the problem with that is what if what if magkasakit ka? What if tumanda ka na na hindi mo na kayang mag, magpakapagod? Ano na ang mangyayari? Ano na ang magiging situation? Well, here it is. When you are going to build an organization, you are going to potentially one day become a sales supervisor. And with that, you're going to enjoy a rate of 3%. Not just the rate, but you're going to enjoy the potential income of 75,000 pesos gross. Now, I want you to take a look at it on a greater scale, on a greater perspective. Na ang lahat ng tinatrabaho mo dito ay hindi po sa short term, kung hindi lahat po ng tinatrabaho po ninyo dito ay para po sa long term. Long term po, ang labanan po natin dito, hindi po pang short term. Okay? So, with that, no? ang question is, paano ba ako mag-qualify job para magiging isang sales supervisor? Okay? Magandang tanong po yan. Paano nga ba tayo mag-qualify bilang isang sales supervisor? Well, it all begins with recruitment. Okay? Just like how you started today, you started with recruitment, you will also begin with recruitment. Ano po ba yung ibig sabihin mo, Jeff? The moment that you can decide to join with us here in the business, there are only two things that you're going to do. Number one, you're going to recruit. Number two, you're going to sell. No more, no less. So in short, madali pong, madali pong matandaan. Ang gagawin nyo lang po, recruit, benta, recruit, benta, recruit, benta. Recruit, benta, recruit, benta, recruit, benta. That's all. Eh, Jeff, yung bentahan pa lang, medyo busy na ako eh. Kaya nga eh. Kaya nga na kailangan mong gumamit ng FB ads marketing para let Facebook do the selling for you. Ano ba gusto mo? Magpakapagod ka, magbenta na ikaw na hindi mo alam kung sino yung magiging prospect mo or hayaan mo si Facebook ang magtrabaho at magbibigay sa iyo ng prospect. Alin bang mas madali? Ikaw ang maghanap so or si Facebook ang maghanap? O di ba? So, enroll Facebook ads marketing so that you will know how to get more prospect so that ang gagawin nyo lang po ay sumagot. Yun na lang. Si Facebook ang bahalang magbibigay sa iyo ng prospect at ang gagawin nyo lang po, sumagot na lang. Na? Next, you're going to come up with a group sale of 10 million pesos. When I say group, it means you and your people, you and your downlines. Now, what will happen if I meet the 10 million? Well, after the 10 million, you are now entitled to a 0.5% leverage income. Ang liit naman, Jeff, eh. Magkano yan? O, ito po yan. Di ba may mga downlines ka na PLS? 
Kasi ngayon, ikaw ay isang supervisor na 3%. May diferensya po yan na 0.5%. No, 3 minus 2.5, 0.5. Diba? Yang 0.5 na yan, that is 5,000 for every 1 million sale. 5,000 for every 1 million sale. Ito po yung gusto ko makita mo, kapatid. Kung gaano karami ang downlines mo, ganun din karami ang 5,000 mo. Ganun lang kasimple ang mathematics natin. Kung gaano karami ang 5,000, kung gaano karami ang downline mo, ganun din kadami ang magiging 5,000 mo kung makabenta sila kahit isang milyon lamang. At sinisiguro ko na makakabenta sila kung gagamit mo sila ng FB ads marketing. Okay ha? Ulitin ko. 100% I will guarantee na makakabenta sila kung gagamit sila ng FB Ads Marketing. Kung hindi po sila gagamit ng FB Ads Marketing, kalimutan nyo na po na makabenta kayo kasi ang tagal bago po mangyari yan. Nandito kayo sa negosyo, nandito kayo kasi gusto nyo kumita. Kaya huwag nyo pahirapan ang sarili mo. Huwag nyo pahirapan ang sarili natin. Ang gawin nyo, aralin ang Facebook Ads Marketing. Alam mo bakit binabalik-balik ko yan? Kasi ang dami ng tao gustong kumita pero ayaw matuto paano gawin ang Facebook Ads Marketing. Wala ako magagawa dun eh. Hanggang salita lang po ako. Pero for those people na inaral talaga ang Facebook Ads Marketing, nagkakaresulta po sila. So hanggat hindi mo buksan ang isipan mo na aralin ang Facebook Ads Marketing, kapatid, magkalimutan na po tayo kasi ang tagal bago po kayo makakabenta at I don't know baka one day hihinto ka rin kasi sa sobrang tagal no negosyo to kapatid we have to move faster no dito ko po dinerive ang competition na 75,000 but it can go more kasi sabi ko pa nga eh, the more people you have the more 5,000 you get what if you have 100 people you have 100 potential people na magbibigay sa iyo ng 5,000 pesos. So magkano yan? 5 times 100, that's 500,000. Kung etong 100 katao mo, nag i yan at nag-aaral ng Facebook Ads Marketing, makakabenta yan. Makakabenta yan. For those online seller, I believe na iintindihan nila yung, yung hinaing ko. I believe na iintindihan nila na the only way in order for you to really make money more on the internet is to learn how to do Facebook ads. Kailangan mo talagang matutunan paano gawin ang Facebook ads marketing. Hindi po sapat ang post-post, kapatid. Hindi po sapat ang post-post. Kailangan po nating mag-aral ng FB ads marketing. Next, so, ito po yung mga tao na matapang na inaral, sinubok, at nagkatotoo. Ito si Janice Paradero, isang housewife. Ito si Roy Chun Aki, na nagsimula isang part-timer, isang uh, aircon technician, ngayon supervisor. Ito, part-timer, teacher Amelda Trusio. Part-timer naman, teacher Lorena Impas. Ito, guard sa isang condominium project. Part-timer, si Sir Alan. Ito, dating teacher na ngayon, full-time real estate uh, entrepreneur, si Sir Noel. Ito, part-timer. Kung kayo sumasakay ng series bus, ah, kilala niyo po yung uniform na yan. No? Si Sir Teody. Ito, housewife, si Ma'am Silveria, taga Talisay. Ito, nasa Canada. Ito, housewife, nasa Toledo City. Ito, senior citizen, 63 years old. Ito, 27 years old, millennial na millennial. Ito, dating mananahi, si Miss Vilma. Ito, part-timer, nagtatabaho sa... Uh, ano ba ito? Nananasa Mandawi, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng kompanya. Si Sir Robbie. Ito, kapitan ng barko, si Sir Dante. Ito, si Sir Joel, na nasa Canada din. Ito, Tagalinis ng airco namin, no? Dito. Ito si Christine Gabato, ang pinag pinang pinangkabuhayan nito 
before the pandemic ay nagtutur guide to sa Mualboal. Pero nagka-pandemic eh. So wala ang masyadong guess o sinubok ang negosyo na to. Ito si Sarah Gutual. Grabe housewife. Dito natuto. Ngayon grabe humahataw. Nag-build ng, ng grupo. Ito panay tripping ang ginagawa. Balang araw nakikita ko po ito. Uh, successful to. Ito kapitan ng isang barangay na nasa Bato Leyte. Si Kapitan Arnolfo. Sino pa ba dito? Ito si Gerald Rosada. No? 20 years old. Halo, estudyante po ito. Ito si Ma'am Renita. Housewife. Ito part-timer. Nasa Coca-Cola. Si Sir Melbert. Ito dating grab driver. Si Ma'am Ani, uh, Sir Anasi, Anisito. No? E eh, nung nag-pandemic, walang, walang masyadong guest para ipag-drive. O yan. Ito trinabaho. Sineryoso. Ito, Mary Ann Raffles. Part-timer. Nagtatrabaho po dito sa MEPS. Ito, si Randolph Cabagnot. Part-timer din. Huh? Ito, si Miss Lidilin. Kapo-promote lang kahapon, no? September 16. Sineryoso. Focus. Ah, of course, nag-Facebook ads marketing. Alam mo, lahat ito ng mga nag-accomplish dito, hindi po libre ang lahat ng ginawa nila dyan. Nag-effort talaga sila na aralin kung paano gawin ang Facebook ads. Kaya ikaw dyan, kung hindi ka mag-Facebook ads marketing, eh wala, ta, wala kang, mahihirapan ka. I tell you, mahihirapan ka. So if you want to really, na may, may, meron ng magkar... Alam mo, ito si Lidilin. Bigyan ko kayo ng story ni Lidilin. Ginawa ni, na-accomplish ni Lidilin ang pagiging supervisor in a span of Three months. Hello? Nagawa ni Miss Lidilin na maging supervisor on a span of three months. No? 50 days, sir. One month ra. Sorry. One month pala. I stand corrected. Nagawa ni Lidilin na maging supervisor in one month. So ngayon, ito pag-usapan natin to. Okay. Focus ko muna dyan. Now, if you are here, if you are listening right now, and truly I believe you are, no? if you are listening right now, ano bang diferensya natin kay Ledilin? Ano bang meron si Ledilin na wala, wala tayo? Meron siyang dalawang mata, meron din tayo. Meron siyang ilong, meron siyang, ano ba? May merong labi, merong kamay, merong paa. Pareho tayong meron kay Miss Lady Lynn, actually. Na meron siya. Pero ano yung pinaka-distinct na karakter na meron siya? Yun ang hanapin mo. Alam mo ang anong meron ito? Alam mo, hindi ko alam kung ilang taon na to si Miss Lady Lynn, eh, pero sa tingin ko bata pa to eh. Sir Adonis, ilang taon na ba to si Miss Lady Lynn? How, how old Miss Lidilin kaya? Sa tingin ko, nasa ano pa to eh? Ah, 25. Ayan, sumagot si Miss Lidilin. 25 years old. Okay. Ito ha, seryosong usapan. The only thing that will separate between winning and losing is only, ito po, ang taong may matinding pangangailangan. Ibabalik ko po yan. Ang taong may matinding pangangailangan. Ang tao na nakakaintindi na may pangangailangan siya sa buhay, na iintindihan niya na kailangan niyang kumayod para umasenso siya. At dahil kailangan niyang kumayod para umasenso, niya, umasenso siya, gagawin at gagawin niya ang lahat ng mga bagay na pwedeng makatulong niya para makabenta siya. Kaya kayo dyan, na hanggang ngayon hindi pa nag-enroll sa Facebook Ads Marketing, mag-enroll na kayo. Kasi kung hindi kayo mag-i-enroll, patawad kapatid, hindi kayo mapupromote. Kung mapupromote man kayo, matatagalan kayo. Binibigyan ko na kayo ng daan paano to kawin. Huwag na po kayong magpakahirap pa. Sundin nyo na lang po kung ano ang ginagawa ng iba. May tools tayo. May tutor tayo. May tagaturo tayo. The only thing you're going to do is make yourself available at aralin ito ng tama para mag-shoot up yung benta nyo. Kung nagawa ni Lidilin na one month, ito pa, may mas, mas matindi pa daw eh. Nagawa ni Miss Mary Ann ng less than one month. Mas malupit yon 
Pero ito lang, gusto ko to kasi bata ay eh, 25. It would be a model to everybody. Kaya kapatid, ikaw ngayon dyan, after ng seminar na to kung gusto mong kumita ng malaki dito, mag-enroll ka, Facebook Ads Marketing. Huwag mong palagpasin ang araw na to na hindi ka mag-enroll. Huwag mong palagpasin ang weekend na hindi mo pinag-aralan yan. Kasi malaking tulong kung may knowledge po tayo paano gawin ang Facebook. Knowledge po yan, kapatid. Knowledge po yan. Ang knowledge na meron ka, yan po ang magbibitbit sa iyo sa success na gusto mong marating. Ang knowledge po, hindi po mawawala yan. The more you have knowledge, the better you will be able to perform. Believe me. The moment you all have the knowledge na yan ang magiging bala mo eh. Yan ang bala mo sa gera. Kaya wag mong tanggalin mo, ta, please tanggalin mo ang attitude na alam ko na yan. Yung attitude na alam ko na yan, dyan kayo babagsak, maniwala kayo. Marami na po akong nakita for the past 10 years sa mga tao na ang iniisip parati, alam ko na yan, alam ko na yan, alam ko na yan. Yung alam ko na yan attitude yan ang nagpapabagsak ng maraming pumikita dati. Kasi akala nila, alam na nila talaga lahat. Pag yan ang mentalidad nyo, sus na ko. Huwag sana. Kasi yan ang ikababagsak nyo. Tanggalin nyo po yung attitude na yan. Yung alam ko na yan attitude. Okay? Next level. Next level is becoming a sales manager. When you become one, your rate will now be at 3.5% and your potential income will now be at 235,000 pesos. Okay? Now, how you are going to qualify? Again, balik naman tayo sa recruitment. Now, ito guys, no, kung makikita nyo, grabe ang emphasis na binibigay po natin sa recruitment. Kailan ba tayo magigising na ang totoong paggawa ng negosyo dito ay yung makabuo ka ng grupo? Alam ko, importante ang magbenta. Pero importante din po na magkaroon ka ng grupo. Kaya wag mo pong iisang tabi po yan. No? Huwag mong isang-isang tabi po yan. Kasi kailangan mo talagang mag-build ng grupo para kung gusto mong kumita ng malaki. Okay? Next, mag-develop ka ng isang supervisor at mag-come up ng group sale na 15 million pesos. Now, ito na lang po, no? para mas madali po natin maintindihan. Sa kadami-dami ng downlines na meron ka, I believe meron isa dyan na potential magiging supervisor. But I want you to concentrate on the right side. Ito yung right side. Yung mga kulay pula, green, bilog-bilog dyan. You recruit as many as you can. If there's one thing na hindi po talaga mahihinto na gagawin mo dito at ito po yung pagre-recruit. Madali po ang 15 million group sales kasi ito po yung magko-comply eh. Madali po ang 15 million group sales. Alam mo bakit? Kasi ang katapat ng 15 million na yan ay 15 people selling 1 million each. Fifteen million ang katapat ay 15 people selling 1 million each. So kung gusto mong manigurado, damihan mo ang recruit mo. Recruit as many as you can. What will happen if you reach that? Your leverage income will now be at 1%. Ibig sabihin, madagdagan na po ng 0.5 across all level. Dito ko na po dinerive ang computation na 235,000 pesos. Ito. Si Marilyn Aroba, nung dumating siya sa atin ay pa-abroad, pa papuntang Kuwait magiging domestic helper. Nakita yung opportunity, tiningnan at tinabaho. What is special with no with Marilyn is because may anak siya na special child. Eh. So hindi po ganoon kadali. You know what? Narating niya. Walang experience sa sales, pero narating niya. Ito, retiree, no nagtatrabaho dati sa Timex. At ito pa yung masakit. This year, no, 2021, kung kailan siya na-promote bilang isang manager, she lost her husband uh, due to COVID. At hindi lang po yan. Naging affected din po yung dalawa niyang anak na nagka-COVID din. And praise the Lord, naka-recover. Pero, again, no, isang 53 years old, ano, 57 years old, sorry, 57 years old, was able to make it. Ito, Anna Lizel Dano, and I believe Lizel is joining with us here in Zoom. The first time na na-meet ko po ito si Lizel ay doon sa Tagbilaran. In fact, marami kami noon, 7 eh, to 8 ata na nasa isang pension house kami. Nagpamasahe ako nito. Ang galing ito magmas magmasahe. So, ayan, no? 
dumating yung dugok ng buhay, uh, dagok ng buhay sa 2021, uh, 2020 pala. Nagkaroon ng pandemic, halos pigado na po yung pa, panganap buhay kasi wala na nagpamamasahe. Pero you know what? Lizelle was able to make it. Naging supervisor siya last year, naging manager siya this, this year. No? So nagawa niya. Ito si Jovi Carrasco. Matindi din po ito. Husband ito, tricycle driver. At higit sa lahat, yung anak nito special. Pero nagawa ni Jovi. Oh. Ito si Jacqueline Raffles, housewife. No? Ito, part-timer, Sheila Iskasinas. Nagawang ma-promote dalawang beses isang taon. This year, na-promote siya na supervisor. In the middle of this year, uh, no, mga August, na-promote siya ng uh, manager. Ngayon, she's working her, her way out ngayon papuntang consultant. And, it's not, and that's not impossible kasi patuloy na nagre-recruit ito. Ito si Jude Bordius. No, in a span of two years, narating niya ang posisyon na ito. Ito ang pinakamas malupit sa lahat. No? Si Sir Adonis, ba kayo? Nandito ba si Sir Adonis? No. Yeah, nandito si Sir Adonis, kasama natin ngayon. No? Laki ng smile ni Sir Adonis. Congratulations sa iyo, no? Nandito pa ba? Nandito pa ba si Sir Adonis? Yan. Kahapon lang, oh, September 16. Fresh from the oven. Ito lang po yung masasabi ko sa inyo, guys. Lahat po ng mga tao na pinakita ko po dito, buhay po lahat sila. Hindi po yan sila patay. So pwede niyo po silang tanungin after nito. No? Pwede, pwede niyo po silang tanungin. Next level. The next level is becoming a sales consultant in which at this time your rate will be at 4% and your potential income will be at half a million pesos. Paano ba maging consultant? Again, balik tayo. Mag-recruit. Wala po kayong ibang gagawin. Mag-recruit ng mag-recruit. Next is mag-develop ng supervisor at manager at mag-come up ng group sales na 20 million pesos. Now, Here, here is the diagram. No? Just like the manager, ang nag, nadagdag lang po nito ay isang manager. So dalawa na, no? supervisor and manager. Tapos mag-come up ka ng 20 million group sales. Now again, wag po kayong matakot sa 20 million na yan. Kasi ang 20 million na yan, ang katapat po niyan ay 20 people selling 1 million each. Always remember that. Ang katapat ng benta dito ay ang katapat ay tao. So kung gusto mong makabenta ng 20 million, mag-recruit ka ng maraming tao na magbebenta sa iyo ng 20 million kasi mas madali po 'yon at mas mabilis. Okay? So once you have that, you are now entitled to a leverage income of 1.5%. Ibig sabihin madagdagan po ng 0.5% across all level at dito ko po dinerive ang computation na half a million pesos. Kapatid, wala pong magic lahat dito. Everything is all about numbers. And numbers will never lie. Numbers will tell you the truth. Numbers will tell you where you are, actually. You can never lie with numbers. Kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng... Ano yan? I-fake mo ang sagot ng, ng, ng multiplication. You cannot do that. But this is what I want you to, to consider. No? And this is what I want you to think. Always remember that when you climb... The ladder, kasi pataas po yan, hindi po yan easy, but doable po yan. When you climb the ladder, kailangan mo talaga, di ba? Kailangan mo mag-exert ng effort para makaangat from one step to the next. When you climb the ladder, kailangan mo talagang mag-exert ng effort. So if you wanted to be here, to reach at this level, by all means, kailangan mo talagang mag-effort. And by all means, you kailangan mo talagang aralin ang dapat aralin. Okay? Yun lang po. Yun lang. Walang magic po lahat dito. Wala pong shortcut para po sa success. Everybody climbs the ladder. Okay? Ito po yung pinaka-latest promotion natin for consultant level. no? Si Miss Novelin. Alam mo, gusto ko ng... Gusto ko ng mapalitan to na ano eh ma-promote may may ma-promote na sana na consultant wala pa eh no but i'm really really hoping that there will be one coming soon okay now 
Novilin have been an inspiration to all of us. A person that comes from the province, no, sa Calatrava, Negros Occidental, napadpad dito sa Cebu, nasubukan ng napakaraming trabaho. But the time na nagmeet mo kami ni Miss Novilin ay eh, nasa isang shapud siya doon sa Robinson's Galleria. That was the time that we that we met. At nakikita ko ang isang isang tao na punong-puno po ng pangarap sa buhay. At hindi lang po yan. Nakikita ko sa kanya na yung pangarap niya ay kaya niyang i-translate into action. Doon ko, doon ko nakita na kaya pala ng isang tao na ang pangarap ay i-translate no, sa isang action. And because of that, Nobilin have proved everybody that it's possible. Sa gitna po ng pandemic na hinaharap po natin lahat, na lahat po ng negosyo ay nagsara noong 2020, si Miss Novelin po ay naipromote niya ang sarili niya to become a consultant. At hindi lang po yan, tingnan niyo po sa screen, yung group sale niya sa isang taon ay 181 million sale. Grabe no? Pero mas malupit ngayon. Yang 181 million na yan, matagal na po niyang na-accomplish sa 2021. Yung 181 million niya ay na-accomplish na po niya. Kaya ikaw dyan kapatid na nakikinig ngayon, hindi po magagawa ni Miss Novelin yan kung hindi po siya nag-build ng network. Kung hindi po siya nag-build ng organization. Kaya ikaw ngayon dyan na nakikinig sa akin, sundin na lang natin ang mga ginawa nila. Kasi nangyari na eh. Nagkaresulta na. Huwag na, huwag na tayong mag-isip kung ano pang pamaraan. Nag-model na sila. Oh. The least we could do is gawin na lang natin. Okay? So that's it. no I'm done with my presentation and I'll just talk a few Reminders na lang all throughout the end. Now, with regards to your commissions, uh, we prefer na if you have bank accounts. Now, preferably sana, uh, Metro Bank and BPI kasi ito po yung uh, check na ginagamit namin at ito rin po yung main bank namin. But however, if you are using different bank accounts, well, that would be good enough already. And uh, just, you know, uh, magkocontact naman kami sa inyo if you have an existing bank. But if ever wala po kayong bank accounts, I suggest, mag-download po kayo ng Union Bank dyan sa mga cellphones ninyo. You, no need to go to the branch. Mag-download po kayo, tapos mag-apply po kayo ng account. One valid ID lang po kailangan po dyan. Next is, pwede kayong mag-request ng ATM po dyan at i-deliver po yan sa bahay po ninyo. House to house. Okay? Now, with regards to your commission, uh, we want here na kayo po ay transparent. Kami po ay transparent sa inyo. Sorry, kami ay transparent. It's because kayo din naman po ang katransak sa negosyo na to. Kayo ang kausap ng developer, kayo ang kausap ng kliyente. It's way better na kayo na rin po ang magtanong sa developer kung ano ba ang mga mode of releases ng developer. Kailan ba ito i-release? So kayo, kayo po ay na-notify ng developer na meron po kayong komisyon na i-release. Ang gagawin nyo lang po, i-notify nyo lang po yung opisina para po, again, Okay ha? Notify nyo po yung opisina para po ito po yung schedule na ma-pick up. Bigyan nyo po sila ng 7 banking days para, again, ma-prepare ang komisyon nyo pati yung mga vouchers and everything at ma-deposit sa bank account niyo. Okay? So, ganun lang. Okay? Well, that's it. No? I'm, I'm done with my presentation. Uh, ito na lang, ipapasada ko na lang to yung mga incentives and benefits. At saka mga announcements. Okay, here. Now, meron po tayong company benefit as rewards. Ang ipapakita ko po sa inyo ngayon ay wala po ito sa ibang realty firm. Ulitin ko, para just in case din nyo narinig. Ang ipapakita ko po sa inyo ngayon ay wala po ito na offer sa ibang realty firm. Ibig sabihin, dito lang po ninyo matatama sa ito sa DPPI. Na ano po ba yan, Jof? Ito po ay isang hospitalization benefit na nagkakahalaga po ng 60,000 pesos. 
Ito po ay magko-cover sa iyong laboratory, check-up, dental at saka admission. Um, ayaw naman natin na uh, hahantong sa ma- masamang ano, but if in case may mangyari talaga, meron tayong mortuary benefit or burial assistance. May accident insurance kayo na 100,000. At higit sa lahat, ang pinakamaganda kapatid ay magkakaroon po kayo ng retirement benefit. Lahat ng kayod mo dito, lahat ng sinisika, sinisikap mo dito, balang araw babalik sa iyo in a form of retirement benefit. Kaya nga, ito yung sinasabi ko. Eh. Hindi po tayo pang short term, pang long term po tayo. Number five, babayaran ni DPPI yung one year pag-ibig fund counterpart contribution ninyo para balang araw gusto nyo pong mag-decide na magkaroon ng bahay, then you can apply for a housing loan through the pag-ibig. Lahat po na yan ay maibibigay po natin sa inyo for a personal target sales of 10 million in one year. Jov, baka hindi ko kaya yan. Baka hindi ko ma-produce. Ito mag-usap tayo ng masinsinan. Kanina sinabi ko, kung gusto mong makabenta, aralin mo paano gawin ang FB Ads Marketing. Kasi kailangan mong i-equip ang sarili mo eh. Kung nakasalalay ka lang sa natutunan mo kung paano gawin ang Facebook, I am sorry my friend. Hindi po sapat yun. The world is changing every day. Technology is changing every day. FB platform is changing every day. And if you are not going to learn from the experts, I am sorry to tell you, mahihirapan po kayo sa negosyo natin. Pero at the end of the day, ito lang po yung tanong ko, bakit naman pahihirapan mong sarili mo na alam mo namang may, maga, may, may pwede kang aralin at matutunan para alam mo na kung paano gawin? Kasi yun ang hindi ko maintindihan eh. May tinuturo na tayo, may kinuha na tayong magtuturo, pero pinapahirapan nyo pa yung sarili mo. Now let me, help me understand. No, I'm, I'm pleading you. I help me understand bakit mo pinapahirapan ang sarili mo na magkaroon ka ng potential na benta na kaya mong magbenta ng gaya ni Lady Lid, 10 million in one month. Gusto niyo makabenta ng 10 million in one month? Sinong gustong makabenta ng 10 million in one month? Kasi kung gusto mong makabenta ng 10 million in one month, mag-enroll ka ng FB Ads Marketing. Kasi kailangan mo talagang matutunan yan eh. Ay, Jeff, baka yung company benefit mo na yan, ano mo na lang, hype-hype mo na lang yan. Ito, hindi to hype. Papakita ko na lang to sa inyo kung sino ang mga taong nakakuha nito. Lahat po na yan sila na nakikita nyo po sa screen niyo buhay po lahat yan. Humihinga po yan. In fact, kung nandito po kayo sa Zoom ngayon, acknowledge nyo po yung sarili nyo na kayo po yan na company benefit awardee kayo. No? Type niyo po dyan sa comment section or sa chat box na kayo ay isang awardee para alam nila na buhay kayo. Ibig sabihin nagawa nila eh. You could do it also. I cannot find reason that you cannot. Ang diferensya lang, gumamit ng tools. Ito si Wilda Morales Nung nag-enroll siya kay Mr. Coripot, sabi niya, Sir, nahihirapan ako. I-absorb, sabi niya. So sabi ko kay Wilda, Will, rest ka muna, tapos balikan mo yung training. I-follow mo yung instruction niya at sundin mo. Nung ginawa na ni Wilda, no, ginawa niya ni Wilda, ang unang benta niya sa Facebook ads, 5 million agad. Ang unang benta niya sa Facebook ads, 1 million, uh, 5 million agad. Sabi niya sa akin, nagsatsa, Sir, sulit ang, uh, sulit ang pag-aaral ko ng FB ads. So ngayon, ikaw, gusto mo makabenta ng 5 million gaya ni Wilda? Kasi kung gusto mo, aralin mo ang Facebook ads. After nito, na seminar na to, kung nakapag-decide ka na mag-join sa atin, 
as your upline, as the person who invites you, paano mag-enroll kay Mr. Corifot? Ha? Okay? So, again, may recruitment rewards po tayo dito. Bawat isang recruit, meron po kayong one raffle ticket at may mga cash prizes po yan. Raffle date is January 1. Doon naman sa mga may benta, for every 1 million sale, you are entitled to one raffle ticket. Ang prices naman po dyan ay mga gadgets, appliance showcase. Um, wala po tayong travel at this time. So idadagdag na lang natin sa mga ibang pang mga gadgets. Okay? January 1 din po ang raffle dyan. Meron din po tayong savings fund program. 10% of your commission will be set aside for your savings fund. And that saving fund, actually, that still belongs to you. And you will be going to, ano, uh, 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 mabibit-bit niyo po ito sa pagdating ng panahon na magre-retiro po tayo. At don't you worry, fully recorded po yan. Magkakaroon po kayo ng passbook po niyan eventually. Okay? Magkakaroon po kayo ng passbook dyan eventually. Then, announce ko lang po na ang DPPI ay meron po tayong CSR program. Ito po yung corporate social responsibility natin. Yung heartbeat ng DPPI po is children's, ito, children's health is the very core of DPPI CSR program. Right from the very start, we are already advocating that we're going to be helping child. There was a moment na we feed children. There was a moment na before the pandemic na we help students uh, in their school supplies needs um, para sa pag-aaral nila kasi physical pa po yun. And Today, we are actually helping a, uh, a group of a child uh, rape victim, no? mga molested child. And ito po, I've seen how, they are, how broken they are. And we as DPPI wanted to be part of their uh, recovery. No? We wanted to be part of their recovery. And, and to do so, we will continue to help more and more children. We believe that the children are actually the future of every nation. So, we want to be a company that helps build this community. Okay? At kayo din, dahil part kayo ng, ng DPPI, you will be part of every programs that we have. Okay? So, again, ito na, I'll be ending, no? Congratulations to Adonis and Jacqueline Bakayo ang DPPI car achiever natin. Sina Mark and Carol, sina Anisito and Meribit Igot, sina Richard and Cons, at si Winbert at saka si Cham and many more that are achieving here in DPPI. Okay? So if you are if you decided to join with us here in the business, ang gagawin niyo lang po, you ask the link from the person who invited you to the business. Okay? Ask the link. You fill up the form online, after that, you can start selling, you can start recruiting. Ask the person who invited you because siya ang person na magaguide po sa inyo. Okay? Again, nakalagay po dito no membership fee. Wala po kayong kukolektahin na bayad para po magiging isang member. Okay? Take note ha, no membership fee. So, ito po yung office address natin. Nasa no, unit number 14, the runway, Pakpakan Road, Barangay Basak, Lapu-Lapu City. Bukas po ang tanggapan po natin from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Doon po na malapit po dito na nasa Lapu-Lapu lang or even Mandawi, I encourage you to pay, to pay as a visit. Our office number is 3160140 at please paki-like po ang DPPI official page po natin. Ito po yung dppi.official. Okay? Now, if you happen to visit our office, you can get to meet there Miss Van Allen Osaraga, yung business relations manager natin, and she is joined from time to time by Miss Erlin and Miss LV. Okay? So, hope you could drop by and visit us today. Now, here are the schedules, my friends. Okay? Now, our regular schedule is Friday. Today is Friday, 9.45. At every second and fourth Friday, meron po tayong night owl, 8 p.m. po yan. That's next week, actually. Then, every second and fourth Thursday, meron po tayong throwback, gabi din, alas 8. That's next week, no? Every second and fourth Friday and every second and fourth Thursday. May bago po tayong time slot na schedule at ito po yung uh, midweek, no? Every Wednesday po at 5.30 p.m. So, abangan nyo po yan every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Then, ito po, no? September 25, magkakaroon po ako ng sales and marketing training uh, in Danao uh, City. Ito po yung gagawin sa CTU Danao Hostel Facility. So, if you are from the north, from Consolacion all the way to 
Danao or even Bugo, no? kung kaya niyo pumunta doon sa Danao, magkakaroon po tayo ng whole day training po yan, 9am to 4pm. Please keep in touch with your uplines kasi meron po yung registration fee in order to cover for your lunch. Okay? So lunch lang po ang pinakover namin sa inyo. So 100 pesos, uh, chicken joy na po yan. <laughs> okay? So kita-kita po tayo. Kaya mga uplines, kung may mga downline po kayo sa Norte, please bitbitin niyo po dyan. It's gonna be a one-day workshop for, for, uh, for your downline. So importante po yan. Kasi nasa gera po tayo, kailangan po natin mag-practice. Okay? Then sa Toledo City po, uh, nasa ngayon na, bukas, actually, September 18, again, another whole day affair, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., sales and marketing training po, uh, doon po sa GCIOLCC uh, Center sa Toledo City. Uh, ang o, ano po yan, uh, third floor Batak Building. Okay, just keep in touch with your upline. Meron din pong registration po yan in order to cover for your lunch. Yung snacks at venue, amin na po yun. Okay, so uh, please, if you have agents in the area, uh, Pinamungahan, Toledo, Balamban, Asturias, bring it there. No, Kailangan po nating mag-insayo talaga. Then, October 2. October 2, sales and marketing training, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Magic Milk Tungkil. Ito naman po sa South Area. Ito po ay pang, pa, pangungunahan ni Sir Adonis at ni Miss Jacqueline. Okay? Sir Adonis, if you are here, Sir Adonis and Miss Jacqueline together with their consultant, Sir Richard, please start cascading this one. October 2, Magic Melt Tungkil, Sales and Marketing. It's a one-day workshop from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Bring in your newbies in here. May 100 pesos na registration po yan for the meals. Okay? 100 pesos registration po yan for the meals uh, natin. Sa lunch, lunch. The, the snacks, eh, uh, may mga leaders naman na nano dyan. So, Sir Richard, Sir Adonis, Ma'am Jackie, please take note of uh, this one. This is your baluarte. Uh, this is your baluarte. What else? So, ito pa. Regular uh, first and third Thursday of the month, 8 p.m., The Circle. Ito po nangyari po gagabi. Guys, invite ko po kayo. Now, ito pong The Circle, is this is not about religion. This is about you and your God. Dito kasi sa DPPA naniniwala po ako na ang tao po ay, ano po yan eh, composed of body and soul po yan, and spirit of course. And to neglect the need of the spirit and the soul, you're good as dead. That's the reason why maraming tao pong matamlay because ayaw nilang i-feed yung spiritual side nila. So feed it, guys. I encourage, I invite you. No? Tapos may learning session tayo 2 p.m. Tapos project knowledge seminar 2 p.m. din po yan, weekdays. Monday to Friday, guys, importante po yung mga PKS. Ang PKS po, yan po ang seminar para po malaman natin ang mga project. Kung hindi po kayo mag a paano po ninyo malalaman ang mga project? Again, tanggalin na po yung attitude na alam ko na yan mentality. Kasi yung alam ko na yan mentality, yan ang makapagbababagsak po sa inyo. So kung mananatili po kayo sa alam ko na yan attitude, patawad kapatid pero hindi po kayo nafifit dito. No? Kung meron po yung attitude mo na po na yan sa iyo, ng alam ko na yan attitude, kapatid, I'm sorry you're not going to make it here. Because ako talaga, I'll always pound for learning. Learning, 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 learning. Kasi yan ang pinaka, yan ang pinaka weapon mo dito sa negosyo na to. Okay? Okay, ngayong Sunday na po to, panawagan sa mga, may mga motorsiklo, na mga motorcycle enthusiast. Meron po tayong DPPI Riders Club. At dito po sa DPPI Riders Club natin, ay, yan guys ha, Ang second ride natin mangyayari po ngayong September 19. Sunday po ang meet up po natin McDonald's sa Consolacion. Okay? Ang biyahe po natin ngayon pa Norte po tayo. May 10 projects po tayo na bibisitahin. Kakaiba po ang ano po natin dito, ang Riders Club. Ang Riders Club ng iba ay nagsasayang lang ng gasolina, pasyal-pasyal kung saan. Pero dito sa atin, ang Riders Club natin ay pupuntahan ang mga project site. Yun ang difference ng Riders Club ng DPPI. Kaya, sali kayo ah, yung may mga motorcycle. 
as your upline paano makapag-register dito. Okay? See you on Sunday. Tapos sa summit po natin, Moalboal Tropics, November 30, may 2-5 pong registration dyan to cover for the accommodation, food, and transportation. If you're interested to join, please inform your uplines. Ano pa ba? Okay. By the way, after this, uh, sinisigur, siguraduhin nyo po, mag-process po kayo ng ID kasi importante po yan. You process it with your consultants. Okay? Then, mag-order mag po kayo ng uniform. Maganda po pagkaharap nyo po ang prospect ninyo na maka-uniform po kayo kasi bitbit nyo po yung logo ng kompanya at yung authority ng kompanya. Maganda rin po pag magkasama-sama tayo na naka-uniform tayo kasi maganda pong tingnan po yan. But more so, the reason why dapat kang mag-uniform is because yung credibility ng kompanya ngayon ay bitbit mo na. Hindi ka mapagkamalan nga scammer. Okay, lalo na na nasa online tayo kapatid ha. Nasa online selling tayo so kailangan mong mag-uniform para hindi ka mapagkamalan na scammer. Kaya kung gusto niyo pong mag-order, order kayo through your uplines. Okay, order kayo through your uplines. Then Facebook, ayusin niyo po yung Facebook ninyo kapatid. Okay. Now, bawal po dito ang hindi gumamit ng totoong pangalan. Kasi kung hindi ka namang kriminal, wala kang kinatatakutan na gumamit ng totoong pangalan. Okay? Kailangan po kasing ma-identify namin kayo. Kailangan din po kayong ma-identify ng developers kasi Facebook na rin ang ginagamit nila. At more so, kailangan din po kayong ma-notify, uh, ma-identify ng mga kliyente natin. At kailangan lagyan niyo po ninyo po ng DPPI para po yan ang identity po natin lahat. Kung ayaw niyo galawin yung Facebook account niyo, gumawa kayo ng bago na merong ganito. Okay? Then last, please use the official profile picture doon sa social media account niyo na gagamitin niyo po for business. As again, your uplines, paano po magkaroon ng official Facebook profile picture? Okay? Ito dapat, official. Okay, ha? So, as the person who invited you. Okay? And ito na po, last na. I encourage everyone na dapat po aralin nyo po ang negosyo natin. And if you wanted to learn this business, I want you to get a copy of this presentation from your team consultants or your uplines. As a copy of the business presentation na prinisent ko sa inyo today para meron kayong kopya at pag-aralan po ninyo. Okay? That would be all. Thank you very much. I will not hold you long kasi magla-lunch time na. And alam ko po na may mga anak po kayong mga inaasikaso din. Refer to your uplines at again, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-enroll sa FB Ads training. Importante po yun. Napaka-importante kasi yan ang magbibit-bit sa iyo sa success na gusto mo. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye-bye.